everyone, this is Stormcat, and right now I'm not playing Minecraft. I am going to be making a Minecraft skin. I know I already have one, but I just think it's fun to make random ones. And these are all the ones I've had so far. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another cat skin. Because my skin now is meant to be a cat. I don't know if it looks much like a cat. So the program I'm using is called Skindex. It's spelled right here. So if you want to use it, that's what it is. I might do a couple episodes of this because it sort of takes a while to make it and I'll sort of have like a continuation on from this one. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make an orange cat, I think. And so the color of orange I'm going to be using is I think this one. So usually what I do is I just make the face first and then I worry about the rest of it. So what kind of face is it going to have? I think I'm going to do it similar to the other one. And then, what color eyes? Light blue, maybe. Like that. No. Like that. Yes. And then I'm going to the orange, make it a shade or two lighter, and make sort of like the lower area of the face, make another one lighter, and another. I'll make it too darker again, but the nose, is that that color? Yes it is. So what I'll do is I'm basically sort of having it like fade out to this darker orange. Oh wait, I need to put that there. This gets confusing, so don't worry if you're confused. Because I know I am. That would be the last layer. So you can probably tell, but it's lightest in the middle, and then it sort of fades out to the darkest orange there. Which is pretty much that color. Except it isn't quite that color. So I'll just erase that all. There we go. So now I'll do the pattern on the stomach, which would be this color. I'll do four lighter. I'm going to take away the arms and legs and head so I don't make any silly mistakes. Okay, so what am I doing? The lightest part will be right in the middle, if that is the middle. And then, I'm going to make it a shade lighter around the outside, well, darker, really, every time. And eventually, it will darken out to almost the same shade as the rest of the fur. And you can tell me in the comments if you like this one better than the one I have now, if you'd like me to change it to this one, or if you'd like me to keep mine, or change back and forth, or whatever. And then, what I'm, well, what did I do? And then if I turn the head on, pretty much what it's going to look like. 
So as you can see, there's a button called Body and Overlay. So the body button says means it hides or shows the body part of the skin, which I'm assuming is this part. I've never really used it before. But for Overlay and Underlay, that's basically like just a part that sticks out a little bit more, if that makes sense. So I'm going to use this color, make it three darker. And then I'm going to make some ears. I forgot to do this part with my other skin. I didn't do the overlay and underlay correctly, so I'm just going... I just kind of drew it straight on, on the underlay. So basically, if I put this on in-game, the skin, and... Like, if you see the skin, the ears would stick out a little bit more than the rest of it, so it kind of looks more 3D. And I think I'm going to do the same with the tail, too. You know what might be cool? If I did the same thing with the eyes for overlay and underlay. That might be neat. Maybe the nose should be the same color as the ears. That would make sense. Yeah, I think that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the rest of the body the same color. Just a minute. Oh, no. Well, not that color. No. Undo, please. Thank you. This does get a little confusing, so if you're going to do this yourself, I would advise you to do the front first because if you just do the entire body one color, you might get a bit confused as to where the front is and end up making it backwards. So just don't make my mistake and do that because I did do that once. And it kind of just looked like I was walking backwards the entire time. So here's what that looks like so far. Now, I'm going to do the tail of the cat. Although, maybe I should save the tail for the next part because I am just about out of time. So, because I'm just about out of time, I will do something that I can do very quickly, which is the pause. No, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> So I use this color. Basically all I'm doing is just giving the bottom of the paws texture. But now I am pretty much out of time for this episode, so thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next part which will be online shortly. Bye!